Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I've been playing things, and today we're opening retail blaster boxes of Marvel Platinum. Each blaster box contains four packs per box and five cards per pack. I got mine direct from Upper Deck from their online store. If you're hunting for these locally, you might be able to find them stocked on shelves at Walmart or Target. I was impressed with the hobby box that I opened, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the retail exclusives look like. Here's a look at the pack odds, and the retail exclusive is the Blue Surge. The odds here have them at one out of every two packs, but I think they actually fall in every single pack. Most of the parallels and inserts are available in these blaster boxes, including the one of one golden treasures, but of course at much longer odds as compared to the hobby boxes. I think the sketch cards, printing plates, and some of the lower numbered parallels are not available in these blasters. We've got Moon Knight here on the pack art. That's the Bills and Kevich Creator Art variant artwork for the set. We of course have Black Panther here on the box. All right, pack number one out of four for the first of two blaster boxes. Here on the top of the pack is a Grandmaster base card. This is one of the original artwork cards created for the set, numbered between one and 100. Here's our retail exclusive Blue Surge, Adam Warlock. That is a super cool effect. This card looks really good. I do hope these are in every single pack. We'll take a look at the back. It does say Blue Surge there at the bottom. These are not numbered. Card number 99, and I think this is Mike Allred artwork. All right, and then after that, a cover variant of Wolverine. Next up, we have an Emma Frost base card. Then a Firestar base card. This is one of the high series cards. You can tell because the comic is listed there on the bottom left. Avengers number 13 from 1998. Then the card is numbered between 101 and 200, number 149. All right, pack number two. This pack, we've got a Thor base card on the top of the pack. Then right behind it, a Beta Ray Bill base card. I'm pretty sure this is one of the sculpture cards. Then after that one, Beyonder Blue Surge retail exclusive. This is one of the high series. So there are, of course, Blue Surge parallels of both the low series and the high series. Next up is a Grandmaster Teal Wave numbered card. Pretty awesome to be able to find these numbered cards in the retail blasters. Take a look at the back. This is numbered 762 out of 799. There on the bottom, it says Teal Wave. And the last card of the pack is a Legion high series base card. All right, pack number three. Got a Blastar base card, a Beast Blue Surge, very cool looking card, great artwork. Then after that one, hey, a Heimdall Black Rainbow. This is one of the parallels that I'm very tempted to chase and make a complete set of. Harder to pull in blasters as compared to hobby, of course, but it's awesome that you can find cards like this in these $20 retail blasters. All right, and then behind that one, another colored card, Baron Zemo Yellow Rainbow. This is a great pack. And then finally, last card of the pack is a Spider-Woman base card. All right, last pack of box number one. Got an Adam Warlock base card, then an Iron Fist Blue Surge parallel. And after that, we've got a Norman Osborn rainbow foil. So there is Iron Patriot, I believe. Behind that one, a Black Bolt base card, and an Amadeus Cho base card. All right, got one more box to get into here. Here's pack number one of the second box. Got a Beast base card, a Professor X base card, Professor X Blue Surge Parallel, pretty cool. And after that one, a Silver Surfer cover variant. And then a Gore base card. All right, pack number two of the second box. Human Torch base card. Grim Reaper Blue Surge Parallel. And then next up, a Star-Lord Teal Wave, numbered out of 799. This is 698 of 799. I wonder if you get one of these or better in every blaster box. That'd be pretty awesome. 
Then a Red Skull base card, high series. And a Red Hulk high series base card. All right, pack number three. Got a Wolverine base card with the original artwork. Silver Surfer base card with the original artwork. And this is a beautiful card. I'm pretty sure this one is Ron Lim. I love this card. After that, got a Human Torch, Blue Surge. And then next up, a Red Ultron. These are not numbered. It's a red rainbow. After that, a Gambit base card. All right, last pack of the video. Let's see what we can pull here. An Abomination base card. Captain Marvel Blue Surge. This is one of the high series. Looks very cool with that background. Then after that one, an Agent Venom rainbow base foil card. Then an Iconic Covers of Secret Wars. This is the regular version, not the rainbow foil version. The last card of the pack is a Rogue base card. All right, to recap the video of these Retail Blasters, we got 22 total base cards, 11 of the low series, and then 11 of the high series. We found two cover variants, one in each box, two rainbow base foil cards, one in each box, then one of the boxes had a base iconic covers insert. For colored cards, I feel like we did pretty good for a Retail Blaster. We got a red, a yellow, a black rainbow, and two numbered teal wave cards. And then, of course, the big draw of these Retail Blasters, at least for me, these Retail Exclusive Blue Surge Parallels, and they are beautiful. They look really good. Very happy with these. I'm glad that they are one per pack. Let me know down in the comments what you think of these Retail Blasters, and if you've happened to find any on shelves at retail stores locally. I love a good Retail Exclusive Parallel done right, especially when they fall in every pack. And because of that, I think I'm going to have to go ahead and chase the full Blue Surge set. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more collectible related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.